If you're willing to set up a monetized Discord server where users have to pay to access it and everything is controlled automatically, then WAP is gonna be the answer for you. In this video, I wanna show you guys how to use WAP subscription bot to set up a fully monetized subscription model Discord server. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to head over to WAP by using the link at the top of the description below. And once you're on the website, you're gonna come up here to the top and click sign in. Now it's going to ask you for an email and your password. What I like to do is sign in with my Discord account since we're going to be setting this up with your discord server so all you have to do is click sign in with discord and it's going to give you the prompt to sign into your discord account you authorize it once you click sell you're going to be brought to this screen asking what do you want to do we are going to create a new community and then we're going to click next now we're going to give our community a name so we're going to do we'll just do the name of my server gestures hangout and if you want to link a twitter account you can link a twitter account here i'm going to skip that for now and we're going to click next next we're going to best describe our community niche uh, for me i'm going to do gaming and then we're going to click next and now you can set up how much money you want to charge uh based on all these different intervals the most popular is probably going to be per month so that's what we're going to do and we're going to set it to ten dollars a month if i could type ten dollars a month there we go you can also select to offer a discounted annual option or you can make it free to join if you want to and later in the video you can also set up to give a free trial for a certain amount of time if you'd like to do that so now that we've set that up we're going to click next next up you can customize your brand by giving yourself a community slogan and adding in a community logo i just put a hangout for this and we're going to omit the community logo for now and we'll come back to it so we're going to click next and now you're going to be taken to your wap dashboard so you're going to see our uh, gestures hangout pass over here for ten dollars a month it's already set up it's not fully complete yet we are gonna have to set up our payment method first let's go over some of the other stuff that you can do on your dashboard so the first thing we're going to do is connect this with our discord server so we're going to come over here to the discord roles and we're going to click add and we're going to connect our discord then click connect your discord server again and you should be faced with a uh, box where you can do a drop down arrow and select any of the servers that you were an admin or an owner of. We're going to do gestures hangout. We're going to click continue. We're going to give it access to everything so it can fully control everything for us. And we're going to click authorize. Once you do that, it's going to tell you to make sure that you put the WAP bot roll all the way to the top of the server. So we're going to come over to our discord server now and you're going to see that WAP has joined the server now. Uh, we're going to come into our server settings up here. We're going to get a roles and we're going to drag the new WAP bot role all the way out to the top. That way it can control all the roles under it. So we're gonna save changes and we're good to go on that. So we're gonna come away from the Discord server for a second and we're gonna test roles. It's gonna make sure everything works for you. And if you're good to go, you should have Discord connected and you just click complete. So now if you go to this Discord roles tab, you should see all of the roles that you have in your server. I already have a role set up that we're going to give members whenever they join. So how this is going to work, I'm not gonna go over the entire thing because that's not what this video is meant for, but I do wanna show you a brief example of what you're going to do to set your server up this way we're going to lock it down behind a certain role so i'm going to click on this channel permissions and we're going to make it to where at everyone cannot view the channel but we're going to set it to where the member role can view the channel so now this channel is locked behind the member role. Only people with the member role can see this channel. And now what that's gonna do is anyone that subscribes to your pass will automatically receive, in this case, the member role. And once they get that role, that will then grant them access to all of the channels that you locked behind the member role. And it also works vice versa. If someone decides to cancel their subscription or stop paying for it, then the WAP bot will automatically recognize that and you won't have to do anything on your end. It'll automatically revoke the role from that user, therefore removing their access to all of the channels that are locked behind your paywall so the entire process is completely automated so you don't have to worry about manually adding and revoking roles from people whenever they subscribe or when they unsubscribe it's completely done for you as long as your permissions are set up the way i just showed you and you do that for all of the channels that you want to lock down behind the paywall inside your server then you don't have to worry about people joining and be able to being able to access these servers without or these channels i'm sorry without uh, paying and subscribing to your service everything will be controlled through WAP for you. Now, what I do recommend doing is setting up something called like a subscribe channel or something where you can share the link that you're going to get later in the video once we set up the pass and everything. You can share your WAP store link right here in your server. So that way, for people that might join your server before they pay on WAP, whenever they join, the only thing they're going to be able to see is this subscribe channel with the link to your store where they can go and subscribe and then the bot will give them access once they subscribe. So you're going to want to make sure you do this for your entire server or whatever sections of of your server that you want to be locked down behind the paywall. I'm not gonna show you how to do all that. You have the general idea, idea now. 
and you can go on from there. Now we're gonna come back over to WAP and we're going to click on the member role and we're going to add that this role to the gestures hangout pass that we've already created. And once you do that, you're gonna come up here to the top right and you're gonna click save. And once you do that, you should see that the discord member role is now unlocked with the gesture hangout pass. So if we come over here to passes, we're now going to see our gestures hangout pass and we can click on this and we can go to edit plan details just to look over everything. So this is a auto renewal subscription for $10 every single month. Now, like, like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna add in a free trial period, you can add in a free trial period of three days right here if you want to, or however many days, weeks, or months you want to do. You're able to do that right there. You can add in a one-time fee. So if you want the first month to be a little more expensive, say $20 for the first month, you can do a $10 one-time fee. So the first month is gonna be $20, and then every month after that, will be 10 or whatever price you set up here. Underneath that is where you can set up your credit or debit payments, or you can even get paid through Ethereum's if you want to set that up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the setup for my credit debit. I'm not gonna show you guys that obviously for security reasons. So I'm gonna pause the video for a quick minute so I can set my payment method up and then we'll pick the video back up. So I've now set up my payment method with Stripe. So we now have a checkbox right there. So now that we have all that done, we can now come up here to the top right and click save. And that's gonna save all of our changes. Now, if you come back to the passes screen and you click on your pass, and then if you click view right here, what you can actually do, or I'm sorry, not view, if you edit your past details, you can actually customize your store over here. If we view this example, you can customize your store page to look however you want. So you can add in your own custom image like we mentioned earlier in the video. You can add in a description for your store and then obviously what's included, what roles are included when they purchase it. So for this case, just the member role. So you can set up to look however you want. And once you have it the way you like, you can click save up here. And then you are going to click this button right here, which is going to give you a shareable link to your store. So if we come up here and we paste this in, this is what your store is going to look like. So whenever you want people to be able to subscribe and have access to your server, that's the link you're going to share to th with them. And this is what it's going to look like. Obviously, I didn't customize it as much as I can, but you can customize it however you want. And all they're going to have to do is right over here, click buy now to get access. And they just put in their info. Uh, they can use Google Pay, any type of credit or debit card. Or if you set up the crypto Ethereum payments, they can even pay with Ethereum. Coming back to the home page, you can even add in all of these different types of social media links. And those will even show right here on your store page if you want to add all of those in. So for example, we can type in my YouTube URL and do slash gesture and we can click save. And if we refresh this, it should now show underneath about gestures hangout. It's gonna show my YouTube and they can click on this and it takes them directly to my YouTube channel. And that's your complete overview of WAP subscription bot for your Discord server. If you wanna add WAP into your Discord server so you can start monetizing it today, you can use the link to WAP at the top of the description below and you can set it up just like I did in this video. And I think that about sums it up. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all my future Discord content. If you wanna join my Discord server, I'll have the link to that down in the description for you. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.